Um, now, what I do know is this, right? I know charting. I know support resistance. I know where my levels are here from icebergs and level three and level four. I know where there is big buying over the last week. We can go into that. Um, what I also know is that, you know, there's a bunch of people on the inside that, that know of this stock and have been on this trade for a little while, are adding to their positions and have been, um, hint, hint Nancy Pelosi, uh, you know, legitimately, right? Like I'm apolitical when I say this, when you see someone make so much freaking money in one year, don't you want to follow them? It's the same reason why no one follows Kramer. Right. So that's where I'll tell you, like Pelosi's killing it. Right. I don't know her latest stance on the video, whether she added or whatever, but it's been on fire. You know, if she hasn't dropped off any yet, what makes you think it's going to you know, not continue? Right. So that's one elementary thought. All right. Well, another thought is just this. OK, if you think that NVIDIA is going to go up with the market throughout the remainder of this year into next, regardless of what they're actually up to, then we'll need to focus just on support resistance. And not just resistance, not just a target, because, hey, for as successful as NVIDIA has been over the last year, two years, et cetera, their P.E. ratio is through the roof, right? So let's say if their earnings are just in line and not as good as some may want or expect, you might get a very negative reaction from that, right? So that's where we have to focus on where our levels are for a trade like this. Um, so I'll tell you what, we, we knew traders talk was today at 12 o'clock Eastern time. It is every Monday. Uh, we had a little time to prep up for this one. So I charted some levels beforehand, and these are all levels that I will take into account going into this week. And we'll even come back next week on Monday and, and show you what happened. You know, how did these exact levels pan out? Why do I have all these levels out here to begin? Right. You know, I didn't even focus on resistance. We're not focused on that just yet. You know, it's easy to talk about resistance. It's not so easy to talk about where to find a strong bounce from. What happens if NVIDIA drops off, right? We have to react both ways. We'll talk about targets in a moment. But let's talk about what if NVIDIA crashes, whether they have bad earnings or whether it's just in line and it's a negative reaction. So got a bunch of different levels, got a bunch of different colors, some dashed, some not. Uh, I teach this wholly through the phase two class and really throughout the coaching program one-on-one -on -one, as far as like the, the levels that I use, the color co uh, coordination I got. I like to do a little Miami Vice colors here, a little like, you know, purple, pink, little br bright blue, a little yellow, a little Tommy Versetti, GTA, whatever it is. So just to say here, right away, I would focus on $5 levels, $5 prices, right? So even $125 I'll map out as a potential iceberg, you know, much like the cheap stocks where we say for Peloton, hey, every 50 cents is likely to be a level. Give me a quick moment here. Um, there we go. A lot better. There we go. So, you know, just like we say for these cheap stocks where every 50 pennies is a key level, you're not going to do that for NVIDIA. You know, too expensive. Every $5 is absolutely going to be a psychological level for you to work off of. That's also a big level where there's likely to be a lot of not just volume in the stock, but also volume within puts and calls, puts and call volume. So on the option chain. So that meaning 120, 115, 120, 125 there, all the bright blue, right? The bright blue lines right there. I'll dig into a 60 minute chart for you. So case in point today, what happens? NVIDIA dropped down basically to the blue, broke under the blue, and then it moved back above it, broke under and over 125. And so far, it's made a pretty successful bounce, at least today, like as a day trade goes. Um, oh, let me ask our students really quick. You know, Grant, Iqbal, Danny, Luis, all of us here otherwise. Uh, what time do stocks typically reverse? Time do stocks typically reverse? 10.30? Oh, shoot. What do you know? Just about, right? Give or take, right? It's kind of funny. All right. Well, that's where I'll even show you here. This is live right now. And, you know, this is just to add more proof to the pudding here. But for NVIDIA, we had a pretty big iceberg order earlier today at 125. Right here. About a 275 plus thousand share buyer out there at that price. And yeah, there were icebergs at the other whole numbers, 128, 129 or whatever. But like, you know, again, every $5, 
you're expecting an even larger level. So right here, this was your big one for today, at least. For today, at least, there is you know, 346 plus thousand shares. No, no wonder why it made a pretty clean move, right? Broke under and over and ran. Okay, well, that's first, right? Like all the blue lines represent, you know, just big iceberg levels every five bucks. So, hey, on the way back up now, now we could address 130 and say 130 is your next major key resistance on the way up, right? All right. So now at this point, you got some yellow here too. Yellow we talk about in class, phase two, coaching, et cetera. Um, the weekly closes and the monthly closes. So even with this, let me just jump back. I uh, should have my other chart. There we go. What I'm focused on here is seeing where we have potential support from prior monthly and weekly closes. So for reference, you could even go as here, like you know, back from May, May monthly close was 109.63, basically 110. That became a level in these subsequent months in, in July and August. And it broke under it, you know, of course, but it eventually held back above it and ran. If you're bullish, you're looking for that to build as support over time. And if you're still bullish on NVIDIA, you'd want to see perhaps this price, 123.54. Look at that, the close price right there of June, 123.54. So that absolutely will create a bit of a bit of a level, um, especially with it being relatively speaking close in price to the 125, right? So you know that was a big level. It added to this area as support. And this right here was even the closing price, I believe, from uh, if it wasn't just Friday. Let me flip this to a weekly graph here. Oops, not too far. Yeah, here we go. So look at this bullish candle here. Just, I mean, just the fat body, it's green. So, you know, you know, this is a very bullish candle. If anything, 124.58. So those were the two yellow lines that you just saw. And those become key levels here, especially as support in the event where NVIDIA drops. In the event where NVIDIA drops, you know, that would be my, my line of support to work off of there. Um, one moment. One moment here. I have my, did I lose my chart? There we go. Cool. So yeah, 124.58, that added to this. You also had this to add on top as well. But, you know, hey, for the first time, it's pulling back down there. I would expect that to initially hold. So easy to say as a day trade, this was a nice little entry today. Well, if you're bullish on NVIDIA, you certainly want to see it hold above this area at first. And then yeah, if it breaks below that over time, that's where we'll have to think lower. So if it ends up breaking below like this area of support here, pretty much, which it bounced from today. I mean, I don't have your next level plotted until 120. And then really after that, like you have a better area of support here just from the previous chart. Uh, just looking back historically on the charting, support resistance, and also a prior monthly close that we had here as well, similar dashed yellow. So, you know, this area would be a strong support if we happen to break this. That's kind of where I'm focused around going into Wednesday's uh, call. These are basically the two points of interest that I'm focused around. Um, from like 123.50 up to 125 is support, which again, it bounced from today. And then otherwise, we have this here if it really drops. Now, let's just say if NVIDIA drops and they have like inline earnings, the street wanted more, it's an overblown reaction, but they tank. Um, is this too big of a drop to see? Is that too big of a drop to see right there to have it go all the way down to 115? Not really. Not really at all. Like 116, 117 area. Because again, break out the old calculator here. You know, if it's trading at like 127.50 right now, and if it were to drop down to as low as 117, 116, just do a little math here. That's a 9% drop. That's nothing. Guys, 9% drop on an earnings move. That, I mean, honestly is expected for most trades coming off earnings, typically like an 8 to like 12% move. Did you see what happened to PDD today? You see what happened to PDD today? This thing came off of earnings. They got mollywopped. They got demolished and they were down like 20% going into the market open. Um, now down, obviously, as you can see, 28% at this point. Um, this doesn't happen as frequent, mind you. But if this could drop 28%, 
Shit, NVIDIA could easily drop 9% like that, right? So just be Become careful. a Cyber Group member today. Just click the link below and receive all these amazing products and a world of knowledge for just $9. Do it today.